Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 29th through February 4th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Wands. Um, mm, 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 mm. I mean, you're kind of giving me a sense of experiencing a little bit of heaviness with whatever experience you're you're kind of having to deal with. Uh, I'm not getting more than that. It doesn't feel like it's the worst thing ever. It doesn't feel like it's the hardest thing ever for you, but it is difficult. Um, in the recent past, the Five of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Now that's quite interesting because there's something going on there and I kind of see you not knowing what to do about it, how to handle it. Um, it could be where you're saying I need to take a look at something that happened, some, something traumatic, and I don't know how to handle it. And it seems like for a very long time you felt maybe stuck in this energy of, I don't know, I don't know how to deal with this, you know? Um, okay. In the current situation, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. You're starting to actually come together, come into balance here. Uh, the energy at least is moving in some sort of a direction. Um, you're looking to be in a little bit of a better place. You know, you're not there at that place of, oh yeah, finally, I feel perfect. Not yet, but you're heading in that direction. You know, you're doing good here. In the uh, immediate future, the King of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. There seems to be a partnership that wants to form here. And I don't know what kind of a partnership uh, we're talking about here, but it's a good one. Whether it's friendship or romantic or something else, it's a good one. And it's coming through as a pretty supportive, helpful kind of an energy in a fun way too. And one of those, you know, somebody just shows up in your life and they just want to take you out and have fun. Kinds of ways. I don't know. Um, things like that. But uh, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. It's so foggy out there today. I don't know if you can, oh, you can see it a little bit, but like it's really, I love fog. I don't know why I love fog. I'm like, I would just go there blindly. Like, where am I at? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I just love it. But anyways, it's warming up in here. The snow is going to be gone in a few days. So, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy times. For the Ten of Wands, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands. So you're working on something here, but it's with difficulty. There is some passion here that you have for whatever it is you're working on. Um, I'm not sure if it's a physical kind of a working on a situation in terms of maybe your job or something or just, I don't think so. I think it's more tied up to you in the sense of, yeah, I'm working on myself. Okay. Because uh, you are putting effort into something for sure. It is difficult, but it's getting less and less difficult you know as long as you keep passionate about it and focus on it um okay you're throwing in a lot of practicality on it and i'm like yeah okay which kind of throws me a little bit for a loop because it almost feels like it could be it could be tied up to your job or a project you, you're putting on who knows but i feel like it's more of a personal work in progress kind of a thing for the Five of Cups in the recent past, you get the World card, the Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Let me do the Two of Pentacles. You get the Justice card, the Six of Cups, the Chariot. And let me do the Two of Wands. The Devil, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Swords. I mean, this whole situation of just being up in the air about a healing part of your life here 
it kind of comes from, I kind of see you sitting there and waiting for someone to save you, to rescue you. You know, I don't know if you were aware that you were doing that at the time, but that's kind of how it feels like. Oh, if they would come back, it would make everything feel so much better. You know, kind of deal. Or, oh, you know, if somebody could show up on their horse and take me off into the sunset, I would be so much... I don't know. It's not a lot of that, but it's enough to keep you standing there, to just not do anything about anything and just waiting for an outside kind of a um, salvation here, you know, to the situation. I do see a cycle coming to a close over something, and that's what created a little bit of, you know, riled up kind of an energy for you where it doesn't feel pretty at all. And the good news about it all is that I see the Page of Pentacles there, so that tells me that in whichever way this went, you kind of learned something from it, you know. Um, again, the emphasis of what I see there is that a lot of the time that it was wasted, it was because you were kind of waiting for someone to come from the outside to save you, whether that's the universe or another person or, you know, um, not figuring it out sooner that you were the one that needed to save yourself, you know, um, or to just kind of look over things and just kind of heal. So <clears throat> I don't know how much time has passed here in this energy of, yeah, I'm just gonna sit right here until somebody shows up, you know, for me, not knowing that you're the one that is supposed to show up for you. You know, I, I feel like eventually you did figure it out because you are making progress here. And I don't think it's because someone came to save you or, you know, um, I think it was you slowly but surely, even subconsciously, possibly realizing that because this, this didn't lead to anywhere good for you, you know, just sitting there in this painful kind of a situation. Um, let's do the Knight of Swords in the current situation, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Four of Cups. It's hard, it's tough to get up and go, you know, when, when, especially when you're coming from a, a perception of somebody else needs to come and get me the hell out of Dodge, you know, um, and realizing, oh, that's me, okay, let's get up and go, it's difficult, it's hard, you know. It's going to create conflict within yourself. It's going to create conflict outside of yourself, possibly, too. Who knows? You know, so you're, you're not showing... You, you are showing up a lot compared to the past from the perspective of, I'm doing it. You know, I've, I've decided it's me. I'm going to do it for myself. I'm going to pick myself up and go. That doesn't mean it's easy <laughs> either. Um... But it's way easier than just sitting around and waiting for, for that knight in shining armor there to, to show up. Um, but anyways, yeah, I do see a, a little bit of a heavy energy on top of it all. Even though you are progressing, you are moving forward, almost like you're upset or something feels, as I said, a little hard, a little heavy still. But it's not the same as there. The energy is moving this time around. Let's do the Page of Swords. You get the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. And you have doubts, you know, as I said, you're not there yet where you're just kind of moving confidently through life and you're like, I got this. You're not there yet. You're at the place of, I got this. Do I? I don't know. I'm not sure. Do I got this? Uh, uh, hmm. Do I or am I just fooling myself? You know, you're kind of there. Especially with that two of swords there. You do got this. I can tell you that because I can see it in the energies. I'm like, you got this more and more each day, for sure. But you also have doubt with that. Um, so it's pointless for me to see it. You would have to not only see it, but feel it. You know, um, for as long as this doubt is here, you're not there yet. But you're very close, very, very close to kind of stepping into your power and just kind of being like, okay, we, we're doing this 
Uh, for the Nine of Pentacles, you get the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles. You're also focusing a lot on the material or on work or on things that are practical, things that you can touch, see, you know, deal with in the practical there. Uh, whereas the emotional aspect of yourself, you're kind of pushing to the side, which... Okay. You know, I have a problem with that. It's like, you need that. Um, even if you're not interested in pursuing anybody, because that's not about that, you need that for yourself, you know, for that whole whole of yourself, um, that balance between the mind and the heart. You're pushing a, a lot in the direction of the mind right now, which, okay, it can happen, you know. Um, but consciously deciding to leave your heart to the side as if mm, I'm only needing it from time to time. And right now I don't need it. Not really. You need it all the time. You know, how are you going to feel your way through life, basically? Um, okay. Let's do the King of Wands in the immediate future. Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Sun. Let me do the Page of Cups. The Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Four of Swords. Okay. Let's do the Three of Pentacles. The Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles, the Temperance card. All right, so there is a partnership showing up here for you. I have no idea if it's going to be someone new in the picture or if it's someone you already know. Um, I kind of get the sense that initially, at least, it shows up from the angle of maybe a friend or someone you're working with or someone like that. There's more than meets the eye to this one. Uh, I'm not saying, oh, it's the love of your life. But I'm saying because you gave your heart an unlimited time of vacationing just now, like we talked about, you're not able to feel your way through this to determine what this truly is for you. In whichever shape or form this partnership comes in, it brings in a whole lot of happiness. How are you going to experience that, that happiness if your heart is unavailable? Because you seem to be in a pickle here. You're like, you're recognizing something is, something, something feels right here, but I can't quite feel it, feel it. Because your heart is shut down. So again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be the best friend of your life that shows up here. You know, that you've never experienced before. How are you going to experience it? Because you are kind of showing up at some point facing this connection, realizing there's something big about this one, but I'm not feeling it. And then kind of a light bulb shows up in your head being like, oh, hold on. I need to go talk to my heart for a little bit. And then that happens. And then eventually it all falls into place where this partnership, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reveal itself for what it is. You know, it doesn't doesn't matter and again you don't have to go to oh is it romantic is it this it doesn't really matter whatever it is it's meant to be what it is but it's very helpful and very for you at this particular moment in time it's it's almost like you're not there to welcome it because you don't have all the you know doors open to it your doors that this partnership wants to come through are closed closed off and that's the door to your heart because right now you're deciding uh eh, I don't need that for now okay again I'm not super concerned about it because I do see you just sitting with this energy and just coming back to it and everything falls into place eventually it's just the only concerning aspect is in the present situation when you decide you don't need your heart just for the times where it involves romantic partnerships, which is absolutely false. You need your heart all the time. You know, it doesn't have to be for the one. Make yourself be the one, you know? Just like there in the past where you didn't for a very long time. Where's my savior at? Oh, me? Oh, great, you know? Um, all right, let's see what the universe has to close it off.
the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Yeah, and that's where conflict comes in too. When you decide to go at life from only logic, only mind, only what I can see and touch, not feel, only what I can see and touch, uh, it becomes a little conflicting. It becomes, you know, there's, there's a lot of space that you leave in there for your mind to come in with fear, insecurities, questioning, all sorts of things. And it's, it's basically a little bit of a war in between you and you there. You know, when you involve your heart into things, it kind of helps you to go with the flow of things. And why would you argue with yourself where you're just in the flow? What is there to argue about? Oh, the flow is slow. Oh, mm, uh, still the mind. The heart never argues with the, with the slowness of the flow or the, the speed of the flow doesn't influence the heart's rhythm with you know, being in tune with the flow. So it's like, of course, you're going to get to these places of doubt, questioning, you know, fighting with yourself a little bit there. <clears throat> if you choose to stay only here in the mind. And we all do it sometimes, you know, we forget. Oh, we have a heart. Oh, what would I do with it? Oh, let me go look for it. But then come this situation, comes this situation along to remind you, hey, what's up? Are you feeling me? No, not really. Okay. What do we do now? You know? So, okay. Interesting reading. But uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time.